Okay, I'm out here on a nice, beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. And I want to show you how I have my solar panels connected to my AC200 uh, Buetti solar generators. Um, there's only uh, one pair of wires going inside the house and they're able to charge both of them at the same time. And I'll show you how I do that. And I'll show you how I have these panels connected together. Okay, these are my solar panels. There's eight of them all together. The ones, the four on the left are connected in series and the four on the right is connected in series. Each one of these solar panels is 175 watts and they're made by HQST. And so the array, the four array on the left produces 700 watts altogether and the array on the right produces 700 watts. And the array on the left is connected to the array on the right by parallel. So the four on the left are in series. The four panels on the right are connected in series. And then both the left four panels and the right four panels are connected together in parallel. And I'll show you how I'll do that. Now, we're underneath the uh, panels here. And what I started out with, with this panel here, I started out with a negative. This positive here is what's going to be connected to the cable that's, that's going to be running into the house. So you would leave that loose until you got that connected to the uh, positive. So you start out with this one negative here. And this negative here comes over here into the next panel above it and it's connected to the positive. And then you have this negative here coming around this way on this top panel here to connect to the positive. And then you have this negative here connected to the positive. And then the, this negative here will be connected to the cable going into the house. So it takes care of this, this one panel. So this, these four panels here are in series. Coming over here, you start out here with the positive. This positive here is connected to the top panel here, the negative. This negative here will be running into the house. It'll be connected to a cable that runs into the house. So coming back over here, you have this positive connected to this negative. And then this positive connected to this negative, to this panel up here. And then this positive connected to this Y connector. So this here, cable here, is what runs into the house. And so this is one of the four. And this is the other four. And this here runs over this way to these four over here and it's connected with this one here which I said it was you connect last so this is the positive here so this is running in there so this is also the negative coming over here and it's connected to this Y cable from these four panels and this is running into this Y connector from these four panels so by connecting these panels in series parallel, you have this one cable that's going in the house. It's carrying 1,400 watts. So the same with, with this right here. These wires are number 10 gauge wire, and number 10 can carry up to 30 amps. So I'm below, I'm well below the maximum amperage that these can carry. I'm only having one pair of cables running into my house with this setup here. And they're able to charge both of the Buettis AC200 at the same time. And let's go in the house and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, I'm back in the house now. And uh, these are my two Buetti AC200. And the, uh, the top one is the AC200, the original one, and the bottom one is the AC200P, which has the lithium iron phosphate 
batteries in there. And if we take a closer look at these, as you can see here, the top one here is charging that. It's bouncing back and forth with the MPPT, and that's what they'll do. And it's bouncing back and forth between uh, 400 watts and 700 watts. It's at 61% charge. It also has uh, output voltage. It's running my refrigerator and my internet, and it's pulling out 360 watts right now. So this is a pass through. It's charging at the same time that it's uh, using uh, the power on the output. The bottom one here, at the same time, is also set 600 and 700. So you can see how it's bouncing back and forth, and it'll do that as the MPPT are competing with each other and destroying power. But overall, they're drawing about, if I'm trying to look at them at the same time here, it's like they're, they're pulling well over uh, 1,000 watts together. Okay, now looking over here, these are the cables coming in. Just a pair of cables here. One's negative and one's positive. And these coming in are being split up with a splitter I have that I bought. This adapter I bought on Amazon. And it takes the uh, one negative coming here and splits it into uh, two negatives going out. And same with here. Uh, you have the positive, and it's supposed to have two positive coming out, uh, and, the, and the source from the solar panels are coming in from here. If we uh, do a test now to see how much is how much current is actually coming in, we can see right here we're getting uh, about 16 amps coming in, and those amps are being split between these two wires right here. And one of the wires is uh, has 19 amps coming in to one of the power station, and you have the other one having four amps coming in. So it, it'll bounce back and forth as the MPPT they switch back and forth between the two um, power generators, and uh, so that that's perfectly normal. So you can see that with just uh, I got 1400 watts outside with solar panels and so I'm able to uh, charge both of these at the same time. Now as these charges back and forth um, once one of these power stations gets up to a hundred percent the other one will come up to 700 watts if it's available to come up to 700 watts and this and it'll stay steady at that now the thing to remember is that it doesn't make any difference how much water you put into these in my testing i can put like seven, 1400 watts into just one of these units uh the parameter that you have to pay attention to is the voltage itself and on these particular units the voltage is the range is between 35 volts and 150 volts. You do not want to go over 150 volts. Uh, as long as you stay below, at or below 150 volts, you're okay. And it doesn't make any difference how much wattage you're throwing at these things. Well, if you uh, like this video, if it was informative, uh, give me a thumbs up. If uh, you got any comments or questions, leave them below. And I'll talk with you later.